Hey everyone, welcome to Buy Devin Nails. If you're returning, thank you so much. If you're new, I'm so glad that you're here and that you've decided to join us on our crochet along. Today's video is about everything that you're going to need to make the nail fee sleeve. And then the um, next video will be doing the cuff, then doing the shells and then finishing it up. So that is the four part video series. I also decided to add little mini videos. I'm gonna see if I can even get them short enough to be YouTube shorts for a few of the basic stitches that you need. I'll definitely teach you all of the stitches that you need through the videos um, to make this nail fee sleeve, but this way, if you'd like to get a little bit of a heads up or if during um, any of the other patterns that might drop here in the future, yes, I'm hoping that this will be a continuous thing. You can always go back and look at these previous videos to kind of refresh yourself or if you are making something of a pattern that's not from By Devon Nails, you'll have a place where you can go to see how to do the different stitches for crochet. So that's my hope that it will be a resource to you so that you can really enjoy crochet and I hope you do because I have loved it so much and it's brought a lot of fun to my life and I'm really excited to share that with you all. So let's get down to it. What do you need to make the nail sleeve? You need two things, yarn and a hook. So let's first talk about yarn. So when you go to the store or if you look online, you're going to look for a cotton or an acrylic yarn. Um, I used acrylic and I really liked that yarn. Um, I've also used cotton for a really similar pattern. So either of those is going to work. If you're there in the store, just kind of give it a little feel. See what you like. You're likely not going to wear your nail sleeve, although you could all the time so you don't have to worry too much about it being too itchy or scratchy because you're probably going to put it on take your amazing pictures and then take it off and set it to the side with the rest of your nail sleeves or other accessories that you wear when you take your nail fees so once you've found um a place to get yarn yarn store online a local small shop you want to find a yarn that is the right width for this project so on the yarn, you're going to look for the number and it usually looks something like this. So for this project, we really want a three or you can make a four work. Four is going to be a little bit thicker. It might be for some people, it might be a little bit easier to use a four, um, but we are going to use a number three hook. So the number four yarn is just a little thick for that hook, um, but it's definitely not unmanageable. You can definitely do it. So ideally a yarn that's a three, if you find one like this one that's a four, that will work, but a three. So um, then you're going to need a hook. So four, your hooks, hooks come in lots of different dropping them a lot of different varieties and a lot of different sizes so there are really really expensive hooks and there are more inexpensive hooks if this is a new hobby something that you're just starting that you're not sure if you're gonna love unless you have arthritis in your wrist or another kind of health condition where you're worried that you might the kind of the motion of crochet might kind of lead you to be in some kind of pain, I would definitely veer more towards those inexpensive crochet hooks, at least at first. When you, of course, love it and want to invest a little bit more, then you can upgrade to some of those nicer hooks. I still use my kind of inexpensive hooks that I got for my birthday a few years ago. Um, so. Let's talk about what you need. Hooks come in a lot of different sizes. Um, you're going to see a number and a letter. For this tutorial, I'm just going to talk about the number. We are looking for a hook in a size 3. If you already have a size 4 at home, 
I think you can make this with a size four. You're just gonna have to make the pattern with a few less crochet hooks or you're gonna have to crochet it a little bit tighter to get the right look. So you really want a crochet hook of a three. So a yarn in a three, possibly a four, but a really a hook in a three is gonna be our best bet. I personally prefer a metal hook. I think that they are not as bendy and a, oh, I just had one. A plastic hook like this one, it definitely works, but it's much more bendable. And I always feel like I'm going to break them, especially the size three, because it's going to be much thinner. Um, so if you're buying one, my preference is a metal hook. I also like to get a metal hook that has kind of this little grippy bit on it. I think it feels a little bit nicer in my hand as opposed to just the metal with nothing else. But it's all personal preference. Um, if, if you like a little grippy, go for that. If this kind is what you already have at home, there's absolutely no reason that this won't work. So now you've got your yarn and you've got your hook. There's a few other things that you could think about um, finding in your house if you have them. You definitely don't need them. If you have a stitch counter, this is kind of an electronic one. You just press it and you can see here the numbers increase. There's not a lot of counting in this pattern, but if it would make you feel more comfortable to have one, um, they are relatively inexpensive or sometimes you even have one around the house. Um, if you've ever worked one of those events where you had to take how many people were at it, that can also work for this purpose. And then it might be handy to have a stitch marker. This is one that I got in a subscription box that I had a year ago from the Leather Company. So it's super beautiful and super fancy. You don't need something this fancy. Um, it just hooks onto your crochet so you know where to start and stop. You can also use a piece of yarn to do this and I'll show you how when we get into those videos next week. So don't feel like this is a necessity. So yarn, a crochet hook, a stitch counter if you want, and a stitch marker if you think you need one. That's all you're going to need. So um, I'm going to end this video with a big thank you for watching. I'm so, so excited about this whole thing. I'm it's been going around in my mind for a while and I've really wanted to share um, what I love about crocheting with all of my nail friends. Um, so if you are watching, um, like, comment. If you have any questions, let us know that you are here. And by us, I just really mean me because it's really just me. Um, and I'm so excited. Next week on Saturday, so a week from today, the second video will drop and that's the video where you'll actually start crocheting. We're going to make the cuff part of our nail sleeve first. Then the following week after that, so three weeks, we will make the shells and finish off the top. So if you are new to crochet, um, I'm going to link in this video the playlist so go there and you're gonna find a short tutorial on a few of the basic sticks so chaining the single crochet double crochet so those are the three that i'm planning right now all right you all thank you so much for being here i can't wait to see your nail sleeves remember you can use hashtag nail sleeve by me to document when you get your yarn let us know what color you chose i can't wait to see you can tag me hooks underscore and underscore nails at instagram all right y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you next week when we get started with our crocheting bye y'all